Hi, welcome to Gemstone Tarot. This is your daily tarot reading for, now where, what is it for? It is for Tuesday the 25th of July 2017. All zodiac signs. A little bit later today folks because I've just come off the golf course. <laughs> Did I say that with enough like grandeur and aplomb? Because I've actually never been on a golf course before. <laughs> First time on a golf course. I liked it. I wasn't very good, of course, but I liked it. It's quite peaceful, isn't it? And I kept thinking about my mythic tarot, you know. Um, have I got the box? Yeah. <laughs> the Empress. You see the fields. And it looked a lot like that. And I kept thinking, oh, wow, I can kind of... Imagine all my tarot cards, all the different holes. And then I'd like try and hit the ball and a big piece of clump of grass would come up. Brilliant. But yeah, yeah first time. Likey. Thank you everybody for sharing with me your favourite songs. I'm still going through them. I'm going through each one and then I'm looking them up on YouTube and listening to them. And it's just, ooh, it's just great just great and some of them as well stuff that I love already oh there's one today me and Mrs Jones we got a thing going on I love that song and now it's in my head so I've got an earworm now I'm choosing for people all zodiac signs we are having ride awake cards today among other things. So this is for Tuesday. Oh, that's better. Well, pumped. Ace of Cups. Very nice. And it fell out all on its own. And I like this. We've been getting nice cards now. We had nice cards for yesterday as well, didn't we? So let's not sniff at it. Let's not sneeze at it, folks. It's another thing when you play golf. When you play golf. Hay fever. <laughs> yeah, that's the downside. Ace of Cups. New love. New love for something, someone, for yourself, for life. Doesn't matter. It's such a gorgeous card. You know, you can't argue with it. Beautiful card. It's got a cosmic hand coming in from the clouds. It's like, ding, cosmic hand. Ding, dove. Ding. Big golden chalice, ding, lovely fountain, ding, 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 hit the jackpot, ace of cups, have to say, just because it's so joyous, and look, lily pads, lily pads as well, water lilies, that's it, one of my favourite cards, and we're not supposed to have favourite cards, but I have favourite cards, and the ace of cups is one, and the star is another, and the sun's quite nice as well, actually. But anywho, we have the Ace of Cups. Love coming in. Universal love. Love for somebody new. A renewed love in relationship. It's like a kind of a love wave. A mini love wave for Tuesday. Ride the love wave. Now I'm getting... Love train. <laughs> you know that old Motown song's coming in. I'm quite songy at the moment because I'm full of all your songs. I will get through all of them, so keep putting them on. Your favourite song, just don't post the link. Because if you post a link to the YouTube song, it thinks it's spam and it won't publish the comment. Now we have the High Priestess, Major Arcana. This is new love coming in on quite a deep level and maybe a subconscious level, which is nice. This is... It could be attraction. You could find yourself quite attracted to somebody. Somebody at work, maybe, kind of. But also it could be, if you've been depressed, if you've been down, this is, because we've got a, she's got a new moon kicking around her feet. And we're just in some new moon and Leo energy at the moment still. This could be a new kind of shift for no apparent reason. And those are the best kinds of shifts. You know when... You're feeling really crap for a couple of days or even longer you feel rubbish and you feel really down and then 
you kind of it, things just lift you know it's that it's riding that wave of love it's a lift it's a hand up I mean if you look at that that is a hand up and it's a hand that hasn't been asked for it's being offered and that's nice. That can be the hand of friendship. That could be a very kind act coming your way. Someone giving you a lift up, doing something for you. But it's all operating on quite a deep level. So for some of us, it could be quite deep emotions. It could be things that we've had held in for quite a long time. And finally, it kind of clears. Finally. C.C. Peniston. <laughs> Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, finally. Now, we also get the Eight of Swords. Some of us are feeling still hemmed into a situation, but we don't need to be. The important thing with the Eight of Swords always is that this person has a blindfold on, one. She's bound by herself, almost. And also, the swords, if you look, don't go all the way around the front. And in the Eight of Swords, in whichever tarot you're using, they never do. There's always a way out, but you can't see it. Now, I feel if you've been feeling like that, this is the offer. This is the way out. This can also be to do with work. If it's to do with work, it's an offer that, of something that you're going to love, not just a job with better money. It's an offer of something like a passion project or just something that is felt. Something to do with feeling. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. That is gorgeous. Do you know what? We've never had that one. These are wisdom. I'm going to show you the box, actually, because do you know what? These are fabulous cards. If you ever want to get some nice, simple, but really good oracle cards, I recommend these, and they're quite cheap as well. Colette Baron reed Wisdom of the Oracle. Gorgeous, gorgeous artwork. Found them at my local shop in town, actually, so immediately bought them. But they're really deep, actually, but at the same time, the artwork isn't too schmaltzy. Anyhow, we get serendipity. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. Four-leaf clover. Fantastic. And that's like a sort of sprite holding onto it with loads of clover at the bottom. Recognise good luck when it comes your way, because there will be some. It's an uplift. It's it's coming out of nowhere. It's not worked for. It's not asked for. It might have been prayed for. It might be what you're praying for, but it's not been earned. The best things are not earned. I know you're not supposed to say that. It's all supposed to be working hard for things, but actually, the best things are not earned or asked for. Now, I'm just going to look in here and just see if there's anything else. This is lush. Yeah, opportunity allied with readiness. Recognise the luck when it comes. The awareness of synchronicity, luck and good fortune appearing as signs or symbols. Magical alignment of events. That's nice, isn't it? I love that. Yeah, you're stepping into alignment. Being in the right place at the right time, meeting the right people, saying the right things. Things cropping up. Just don't be stuck in your own head and don't be stuck in the past. And don't be stuck in expecting things to go wrong or any cynicism because maybe they have been. Take a turn of events. Healing with the Angels Oracle card. Nice, nice cards. That Ace of Cups is coming out a bit more often these days. Good. We won't kick it out of bed in the morning, will we? <laughs> Come and join the party, Ace of Cups. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. I'm not sure about the brown, but that's still a great card. We get new beginnings. Tickety-boo, people. I like, same thing, new beginnings, something you love coming in, something or someone. Oh, these are great. People, do check out my weekly tarot reading, which runs from Saturday 22nd of July to Saturday 29th of July. Do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. 
and check that your notification wiggly bell is on. <laughs> I'm going to give you just one more showcase. <laughs> Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups. That's pretty exciting, isn't it? I like that. I'm going to take it. Yeah, and also the August readings will be up imminently, is all I can say. But in the next few days, that will be everyone Aries through to Pisces, including the energy of the two eclipses that we have in August. Woohoo! Can't wait. Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye.